try to go over to this burning building. Now they are checking for bombs. No photo. The trip started in Beirut, where a knotted gun sculpture has become an emblem for peace near Bomb Tower Block which evokes the civil war that once ripped the city apart. The sculpture, a revolver with its barrel tied in a knot, as a tribute to John Lennon after he was shot in New York in 1980. <laughs> Here I'm walking outside the walls where the big explosion was and trying to find a way in. So we have the explosion and the different stuff. Yeah, this is still we are going to build the hill, so I ain't so much to say now. There's a little bit. Ødelagte bygninger stadigvæk, og man kan se. But this was from outside the walls. Inside it was a lot worse. Here we managed to get behind the walls, but still difficult to get close. Og det ryger stadigvæk her to år efter. Jeg ved ikke, man kan se det på videoen, men der er stadig flammer inde i over to år efter. Man kan godt lide at ane det her. Nede på neden, når videoen kan se. The 4th of August 2020, the disaster happened when thousands of tons of highly explosive ammonium nitrate, a material used in fertilizers, detonated at Beirut's port killing more than 300, injuring over 6,000 and damaging large parts of Beirut. The explosion is considered one of the largest non-nuclear explosions in history. Our adventure has definitely started here. So now David he jumped over there and uh, we walked through the bushes and over some some fence and we want to try to go over to this burning building uh, which is where the explosion was. Uh, some of the some of it um, but we have another wall and some barbed wire here which we has to pass so yeah we try our try our luck but these people they said nothing so yeah we try again cars along the road looked as if they had been hit by a giant hammer and streets were blocked by rubble and wreckage the harbor had been smashed its tall grain sealer stood defeated one side almost completely collapsed, the other relatively untouched. The damage was like nothing I had ever seen. It reminded me of homes in Syria, a totally bombed city with streets and bombed houses I will take a walk in later in this video. The ammonium nitrate had been shipped to Lebanon in 2013 and stored improbably at a port warehouse ever since. Senior political and security officials knew of its presence but did nothing. So I'm go along the Muan. Ved siden af, hvor eksplosionen og sådan noget fandt sted, så er der billeder af alle de døde her, der mistede livet. Ja, 3000 eller hvad det var, når vi er ikke helt skabt på det, når vi hørte det. Så hele den her mur, langs den her vej her, den er simpelthen afbildet her af de døde under eksplosionen. To be fair, Lebanon is also an extreme beautiful country, which you will also see later, where I explore the mountainside and visit a 93-year-old hermit living in a cave. And as you see here, we enjoyed this scenic place a lot too.
I nu, lige nu der er vi imellem øh, Libanon og Syrien i No Man's Land, hvor vi har kørt nogle kilometer. Så det er faktisk ikke øh, rigtig ejet af nogen. It's a military here. Damascus. Den her shopping gade her, eller hvad man skal kalde det, de har lavet her, den er 600 meter lang. Uh, nu er det så fredag, så er der ikke så mange butikker, der er åbent, at de har fridag i fleste af dem. Uh, men ellers er der proppet herinde her i Damascus. Vi går ind på en sidegade her, og ser hvordan de laver is. Are you being chased? Now it's my turn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we have just got some Syrian skis here. We are going to go here. Go, so, uh, David will. David have money. <laughs> He asked if, if you don't, uh, if you have uh, something, uh, you don't use it in your home, like chair, like table, uh, like something uh, like that. He can vote for you. Okay. So what do we need then? Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> I, 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 I love potatoes. I don't like potatoes actually. Yes. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> That's okay. Chips. <laughs> so many things you can do with potatoes. Yeah, French fries and chips are oh. psychotic. Oh. Hey, Chins, eh? Come on, David. Come on, David. Yeah. Salam. Det her sted, det er 300 år gammel. Den her café eksisterede 300 år. Og den er gået i generationer fra søn til søn lige siden. So Jonas, we're drinking tequila here in Damascus, Syria. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay, say like a donkey again. And like a horse? Sheep. Zebra. Zebra. <laughs> okay, that's not a wise. Okay, kangaroo. <laughs> what else? The cow. Uh... <laughs> Crocodile. <laughs> you have special salad, my friend. Oh, you, you also you're a beggar. You're a beggar. Ah, I got that one. I got that one. It's a beggar. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You're a Michael Jackson. The beep. <laughs> That's a lot of talent. <laughs> oh, you're Eric Cantona kicking one in the head. <laughs> you remember that? Crystal Palace? Ben? Maybe it's only me. Damascus is all for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> 
But they made this man handsome, so we, we gotta give him that. I'm Slim Shady, you see? He's <laughs> walking the fucking suit. Will you join us with your beep? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> Currently not. <laughs> Hvor de holder med Aleppo? <laughs> Og det er sødt, man. Kopfinalen her i søen. Is what? You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is... Can you do this? Alaria. Can you do this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here because uh, I'm just on vacation here in Syria and I love football to go different places in the world to see football so I want to see how the atmosphere is here in Syria when it becomes to uh, becomes to football so I just like to uh, visit uh, like many football places uh, grounds in the world Fremsmark nede. Fremsmark konkurrence ved den her ende. Kom. Vej igennem det her bjerg til et kloster, et kristne kloster. Virkelig specielt. Camps come here and stay in this, uh, okay? These grottoes. So, I said, let's see in. Are there two balls? Jeg har lige fortalt mig, at der er en, en tuborgfabrik her i Søen. Nu skal jeg lige have noget af det her heldige vand, man kan få herinde fra det her monastery her. Og øh, vandet det her, det kommer op fra bjerget af. Det her monastery er inde i et bjerg, som man kan se her om bagved. Um, og det er helt rent drikkevand, så de siger, at det er holy water. Så 
Lad os se om jeg uh, ikke er, er heldig for livet nu. Så er vi ankommet til Håbes. Der er blevet godt bumpet og skudt i alle bygninger. Det er en tredjedel af cirka en bæk, der bygger måske en fjerdedel eller sådan noget, her er stadig ryggen. det her marked her. Så det er meget sjovt at se, hvordan de egentlig bare sådan lever i og rundt om ruinerne. Øhm, livet går videre. Ja, sæt til dem. Så jeg kan jeg hvordan deres liv har været. Ja, de er meget flinke, rigtig flinke alle steder. Ikke blevet skudt endnu. Little harder, David. Checking for bombs. No, no photo. No. Helt mørkt Jeg gik lige hen lige før, og så der var helt mørkt. Og så sidder der en der. Det var fandme skræmt for ved og sandt. Men jeg tror, den er skyggelig. Jeg tror ikke, det er et menneske. Ej, det, det. det ligner det bare. Åh oh, shit, mand. Nu er det bare et tæppe. Det ligner også totalt et menneske hernede fra. Men det vil han bare give hende før mig og lukke mig ind. Jeg aner ikke, hvad han... Jeg troede bare, der var noget vildt flot eller et eller andet. Så den blev også forskrækket. Det er 
det er privat. Nå er den anden, der bor her. Der er en anden herinde, nemlig. We also came by the stunning Jata Grotto in Lebanon, especially going in a small boat to see the grotto, which dates back millions of years, was amazing. The grotto's creation can be attributed to the dissolution of limestone rock by water. Then we drove to the countryside, up the mountains, a whole other world compared to Beirut. I can't recommend enough taking a car up in the Lebanese mountains to explore. Certainly on our way we saw which looked like an abandoned suspension bridge in the most beautiful surroundings. Der er godt nok lukket over sig, men man kan jo nemt hoppe igennem her. Og uh, jeg får testet min højdeskræk, min lille højdeskræk, der stadigvæk er der en lille smule, når vi skal gå over den der. Jeg har lige set den lidt højere op fra, og det ligner altså, der er nogle gevaldige huller indimellem. Jeg tror, jeg beder David om at gå først. Og så siger jeg bare en tøstrøm. Så hvad tror du, David? Er det safe? Jeg tror, det er safe. Du tror, at alt er safe? I don't know about my foot crack, but I'll try it out first for you. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. Oh, careful there. Yeah, easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially after those beers. Om vinteren, når isen den smelter heroppefra, så er der faktisk et vandfald sådan i baggrunden, øhm, som ser helt fantastisk ud på, på billeder. Just walking alone, the two of us at this place felt like two kids in a fairy tale. The Batara George waterfall, even without the waterfall, remains a hidden gem. It is tucked away in the picturesque Tannerine region. Luckily, because of the time we went there, there's more than just a waterfall. It's a sinkhole, a limestone formation, a part of the world's geographical wonders that left us spellbound. The Batara George waterfall is also nicknamed the Cave of the Three Bridges. Time to get back by the old suspension bridge, which we found out later wasn't allowed for obvious reason to pass anymore. But it's not necessary to take this bridge to go to Batava waterfall slash sinkhole, so don't worry, there's a nice scenic route as well. Vi er om aftenen, og uh, ingen sikkerhedsliner. Der er en, der hygger sig. <laughs> Nå, den kommer afsted. Vi er lige ankommet til et monastery, hvor vi har skrevet til dem, at vi er pilgrimme, og vi overnatter her. Så det bliver spændende at korse deroppe på bjerget også. Og jeg har prøvet at sætte lidt uh, lange ærmer på, og sådan lidt, så det ikke ligner en bandit. Og, uh, det ser ud som om de gerne vil tjekke os ind, så det er fint. So we got allowed to stay here as two pilgrims at Monastery of St. Anthony the Great. It is situated at a height of 950 meters above sea level in the celebrated valley of Kashaya, which means the living treasure. Historians suppose that this monastery was built and began to be occupied by hermits at the beginning of the 4th century. Så lige ned ad den her lange gang her, til vores uh, ydmyge, ydmyge værelse her i klosteret. Det er mest basale ting. Godnat. This fellow, we're staying in a monastery and this animal yeah. wants to go out at night time and exploring in the it's nooks and crannies. <laughs> Up very early to explore, this was going to be one of the most exciting days. The monastery of Kashaya has special significance for both Christians and Muslims, who come from all regions seeking cures, divine grace and peace of mind. 
Og vi lige går udenfor her om morgenen på vores kloster. Uh, Hvor på? It was several times looted, set on fire and raised to the ground. Fantastisk udsigt til at stå op til. The two pilgrims. <laughs> It is the monastery for the pilgrims. Just like us. Or oh. Og vores værelse, hvor vi så en nat. Her. Oppe. Oh David, you don't have enough time for that sin. Let's make my sins water. Jonas, come on, we have to go. You've been here for two hours already. Yeah, I have so many sins like you. <laughs> you know, I'll be after this new law in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Knock on heaven's door. <laughs> In holy water. As the two pilgrims we are, we felt we needed to know even more what's behind the scenes, so we decided to take our own little tour at the monastery. We are still here at our cloister. It's obviously quite omfattende. St. Antoni Cloister. Oppe i bjergene i Libanon. And here is our new... Oh, Så når vi lige uh, åbner den. satellites and stuff so they can see that <laughs> at this very special place and kind of hidden away at the monastery we found out that before in time they bound disabled and people with mental disorders in chains here sometimes for weeks because at this exact place it is known to heal and make miracles so I come and see I think somebody's been living here. Then we save 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> they actually still bring different people here, but I'm not sure if they get in the chains anymore. But as you can see, they are still here, so who knows. The place unfortunately didn't help my friend David's many mental disorders. Maybe I try to put him in the chains for a week or two next time. Jeg har nogle gange gør det, sådan en gang imellem til krøbling og, og ja, selvfølgelig overtrykske folk, men uh, ja, skavanker og sådan noget der. Så holder de dem herinde, og så efter en nat, så skulle de være helbredt. Hm. Jeg tror da ikke, de bruger dem her mere, men i hvert fald så overnatter de stadigvæk herinde, og heroppe ovenpå, så kunne man faktisk se uh, nogen, der havde, uh, ja, nogle potter og gryder og sådan nogle ting med. Så ja, det foregår åbenbart stadig. Vildt. Ah, er vi på vej til eneboeren her? Der er det jo Eskobar, 93 år, som skulle bo her et eller andet sted. <laughs> Omkring i de her klipper. Så ja, vi er på tur for at finde ham. Der er noget der? Pennies again. What the f***? 
Leave your box, that's David. <laughs> Når vi er nået her til cirka hvor en af borgerne han bor, så vidt jeg husker. Fra billeder og så videre. Vi er gået cirka 40 minutter. Op og ned af de her bjerg. Så han bor han en af borgerne. Jeg mener han har boet her i 40 år eller sådan noget. Let's Unfortunately, he wasn't home, or he didn't feel for company. After all, he decided to live really far away in a cave in the mountains. But I found some rare videos of this old hermit, and how he's living inside his cave. Kwajisha Valley has been home to Christian hermits for more than a thousand years. The first monks came to the valley to seek solitude only a few hundred years after the birth of the religion. To this day, the valley remains one of the final remaining hermitage sites in the Arabic world. Pero en, la, en el eremitorio de Jaua estuve 20, 21 años. Aquí ya llevo ya casi dos años en este eremitorio, que es un, una, una, una casa enorme con cuatro cuartos, con, eh, con eh, eh, chimenea, eh, con todas las comodidades. Eh, yo digo que esto no es un eremitorio, no es para un ermitaño. Pero bueno, me tuve que venir aquí obligado porque ya a mis años son 88 y medio. Y tú con 19. <risa> Entonces me tuve que venir aquí obligatoriamente porque la gente del pueblo me robaba mi turno de agua. Entonces para no pelear con la gente me vine para acá, enfermos. Por, por todas las calamidades y, y aquí tiene mucha devoción al ermitaño porque esto es una tierra de ermitaños aquí siempre ha habido ermitaños en el Líbano ahora no hay pero antes había muchos porque únicamente en el Líbano hay ermitaños eh, ermitaños canónicamente constituidos solo, solamente la orden libanesa maronita Hay, hay otros ermitaños, pero no son católicos en el Tabet, por allá en los, la India y todo eso. Y para ser ermitaño hay ciertas reglas, eh, más de 40 años, tener una salud a, a prueba de cañón, eh, ser un monje ejemplar, una excepción que me hicieron a mí. Eh, Otra excepción que me hicieron es que el ermitaño debe estar por lo menos 10 años en un monasterio después de los votos solemnes. Y a mí me perdonaron 8 años. Jeg vil sige, at uh, ned var noget lettere end oppe. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, 35, 35 grader varme. Oh, 40 minutter oppe, sådan her. Uh, ja. Men det var det hele værd. Pisse fed udsigt af det hele. Og se hvor han bor her med eneboerne, så det var sgu meget fedt. Så vi er ankommet her til vores camp. Vi har lige kørt en to timer mere her i bjergene. Vi er ankommet til det her smukke sted. Og vi skal sove i området i nat. Vi har der vores egen pool, så vi skal lige gå. 10-15 minutter fra det her sted her. Der er så nogle andre, de kan sove på nogle hytter her, men vi har booket et sted med en pool inde i sådan en grotte, en infinity pool. 
bliver, det bliver sgu spændende at se. Ellers kunne man godt nok også let chill out her, det er helt sikkert. After staying some days at the monastery, we found a new place in the Lebanese mountains, but with a little more luxury, and soon it was time to begin sin just a bit again. So having some beers later and just act stupid, so we have a reason for washing and praying our sins away another time. But firstly, we went on a magical hike to three different waterfalls in the area. Now, let's come in. Then walking again to the next waterfall. The waterfall in this area is just something else. If you want to know where it's located, you can ask me here below in the comment section. And now driving back to our new mansion. Og er vi ankommet her til vores villa, og vi har været lidt i gang, som man måske kan se. Smart ting. Og øh... Uh, det er sådan en stenhus, og det ting her. Åh, oh, champagne! Det er vel. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud, because we wanna... This is hilarious. <laughs> and just to make it clear, this can potentially be dangerous, so don't be as stupid as I was at this moment. I definitely need to pray a lot more after this or walk some pilgrim routes again. As I said, don't do this. In general, maybe just don't do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he got his payback. No, not after me. <laughs> the morning after, with a little hangover, this was not the worst to wake up to. Certainly I got some flashbacks from the night before when I heard fireworks, but I must say I was a little surprised when I saw it was a funeral caravan. You just can't mention Lebanon without mentioning their kitchen. It's definitely in top 3 of my favorite countries to eat in, maybe even number 1. So uh, we are going off road here in uh, Beirut. We don't know actually where we are because we just saw some barbed wire and it looked exciting. So and some bullet holes in the sign, so we thought we must drive up here. <laughs> oh, so there's one on the donkey. Oh, oh it's it's a donkey. Yeah. Let's go have Follow him. So as we just randomly drove around in the countryside, we certainly saw something which looked like a refugee camp. I grabbed myself by the balls and decided to go and see. So here I'm going into a Syrian refugee camp without knowing for sure what kind of people I would meet. Thank you. 
Salam. Okay, Lino. Thanks. Salam. Okay. Okay. Ja, kom ind her, og så ind i flygtningelejren. Prøv jeg lige at gå ind. Og så kom der en dame imod mig, og øh, hun var egentlig meget flink. Gav hende nogle penge. Stadig i en område. Øh, eller jeg måtte ikke give hende penge, for hun må ikke røre mig eller et eller andet. Så jeg gav datteren, og så spurgte jeg, om jeg måtte kigge. Så gjorde hun bare, ja, gå ind og kig. Åh, ja, ja, sorry. Sorry, I take them off here. As always, David didn't oh, want to miss anything, so suddenly he came running and joined this very cool experience with these hospital Syrian refugees. Irish. Irish. Denmark. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Take shoes off. They have already lived here in this camp for many, many years. So we have been invited here. Exactly. Yeah. And all the children was even yeah. born here. They can't go back yeah. because for exact yeah. reasons I don't know of. But if they did, they would get killed. Mm. A thing that I very often experience is that the most friendly and generous is often people who don't have much. For example, in Afghanistan, Somalia and Iraq, yeah. I witnessed that <coughs> a lot. So, here's where they have the kitchen. Oh. Is it good, David? Yeah, very good. We ended staying here for some hours and chilling and talking. Even though it was difficult to communicate everything correct, this interaction learned me a lot. Uden for Balbecs ruiner, der er også det romerske tempel i verden, og faktisk også der er en akropolis i Grækenland. Så ja, glad vi os til at se. Vi kunne se lidt udefra, da vi kørte her til her. Det er åbenbart kæmpe stort. Baalbek is the ruins of an ancient Roman town in eastern Lebanon. It is located in Beka Valley. The Baalbek temple ruins an ave inspiring testament to ancient engineering and imperial conquest, beckon modern day adventures and history enthusiasts to embark on a journey through time. Among the echoes of the past, resounding footsteps of none other than Alexander the Great himself can be heard adding a layer of mystique to these already captivating ruins. One of the principal structures on this side is this Temple of Jupiter. Baalbek's origin can be traced back to the Phoenician era around 900 BCE, when it was known as Helopolis, dedicated to worship of the god Baal. During this period, the Phoenicians constructed the sanctuaries on the site, laying the foundation for the religious and architectural legacy that would evolve over the centuries. Under the sway of Alexander the Great's conquest in 334 BCE, Baalbek fell under Hellenistic influence renamed Helopolis by the Greeks, the city began to incorporate elements of Greek architecture into its existing structures. Spoiler, så prøv at sige det som det er, så dyrker de has, og vi har lige spurgt nogen her om bagved, om vi godt må øh, filme det og gå over til det, og øh, det måtte vi så heldigvis gerne. Øh, vi har ellers fået at vide, at øh, det skulle vi ikke, ligesom vi muligvis blev bortført af de spoiler, men altså, de er sådan rimelig let tilgængelige at se herude på vejen, så... Good, David. Go in and has my cat in his collar mode. Then the signal of the plugger. We'll see what I'm going to do. So, what do you say, David? Is it, is it some good hashes? Maybe his collar mode here. I'll go to the 
gik ind, og så betalte vi dem til sidst, for at blive her. Salam! Hello. Hello. Ireland. And Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. Salam. And just like with the meeting with the Taliban, we got some merch here from the Hitzbollah people. And again, I don't support anyone. It's just some merch because we were there and uh, we got it from them. So. Yeah, very cool, just like with the Taliban. So I'm there for exploring and uh, yeah, and then these four memories. This has been the most sinful tour in the Sea and Lebanon. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, then the show been on. There have been other stuff also, but it's of course different ways. Now it's nice to be able to slip out here. I've taken a flight. 45 minutter faktisk fra Beirut tog det kun til Lærnaka her i Køben. Så har jeg lige en halv dag til at slappe af her, inden turen går hjem af. Godt mærke, at det har været hektisk. Der har været mange emotionelle øjeblikke også med, hvordan de lever, især de syriske flygtninger. Så kan man også bare indtryk. Så det er som om, man er helt bombet og gør selvfølgelig heller ikke bedre, når man drukker sig fuld this great trip is finished but remember I have a lot more videos from many places where you won't see other people go or at least doing the same things so if you like this video I'm sure you will like all the other ones too take a look in my video album which I have a link to in the end here Please remember, it's totally free to subscribe, comment and like and it will make me very happy and motivate me even more to make content like this if I know you will watch my videos. So please also, let me know. Also, remember to push my notification bell so you will see my new future videos. Otherwise, they will not appear on your screen when I upload new ones. Thanks for watching, hoping to take you on a lot more adventures. Remember to get the world under your skin. I wanna wake up in the morning. Someone new, I wanna do the things they say we shouldn't